Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to understand that what is a netlist, how can we write it, and what are the key points that we have to keep in mind while writing the netlist. So for that, we are taking an example of an RC low pass filter. So we will try to write the netlist of this RC low pass filter. First of all, let us try to understand that what is a netlist. So let me just define the netlist. Netlist can be described as a set of code, set of codes, which tells us about all the components that are involved and their connectivity in the circuit. So netlist is a set of codes which can be used to describe all the components that are involved in the circuit and how they are interconnected throughout the circuit. So now let us move forward to write the netlist. So while writing netlist, the first step is to identify all the components of the circuit. So the first step is to identify all the components of the circuit. In this RC low pass filter, RC low pass filter, the components that are involved are the supply voltage that is V1, we have named the supply voltage to be V1. We have also connected a resistance R1 and a capacitor C1. So this circuit is consisting of these three components. So the first step, step was to identify all the components. The second step is to identify the nodes between these components are connected. So the nodes are very important while writing netlist because their connectivity can only be defined through the nodes they are connected. So in this case, the components were R1, C1 and V1. So let us take one component at a time. From now on, whatever I am writing is going to be the code for the netlist. So let us take the component supply voltage that we have named V1. First of all, we have to specify the name of the component that is V1 and the nodes between this component is connected. So V1 is connected between the node A and the node C. So the thing that we have to keep in mind is we have to write the positive node first followed by the negative node. It is the rule that we have to follow for all the components that the first node should be always the positive one and the second node should always be the second one. Uh, sorry, the negative one. So here the positive node is A as it is connected to the positive side and C is the negative node. Now the second thing that we have to notice here is H spice have some primitives. Have some primitives. What it means is whenever we would write V, the H spice was, would consider V or V1 as the voltage. If we would write R, the H spice automatically consider R 
to be a name of a resistor. And if we would write C, the H pi would consider C to be a capacitive element. Capacitor. So these are some points that we have to keep in mind. So we have written V1 and its connectivity that is between the node A and the node C. Now we have to provide the value of this V1. So in this case, V1 have an amplitude of 1 volt. This is the amplitude of this uh, voltage, supply voltage V1. And this V1 is of sinusoidal type. So it is a sinusoidal type AC signal which have a frequency of 200 hertz. So all the things we have to mention over here. So it is a voltage supply of sinusoidal type. So for that we would write sign bracket 0, 1 and 200. This 0 is for offset voltage. So our offset voltage is 0 and this is for amplitude. So the amplitude of our input signal um, input voltage is 1 volt and this 200 represents the frequency. So this whole code this whole code would specify H spice that there is a voltage connected between a positive node A and the negative node C, which is sinusoidal in nature, having zero voltage offset voltage and having a voltage of uh, amplitude 1 volts and uh, with frequency 200 hertz that is generated. So this was for the voltage component. So similarly, we would write the code for the resistor component R1. So for R1, the name of the resistor is R1 and it is connected between the positive node A and the negative node B. So we would write it as A, B and the value for this R1 is 313.8 ohms. 313.8. Now we don't have to write ohm specifically because H spice would consider R to be the resistor. So automatically 313 would be in ohms at the back end of this H pi simulation. So we know we don't need to write ohm. Similarly, for the value of capacitor, we would write the name of the capacitor that is C1, and it is con uh, it is connected between the positive node B and the negative node C. And the value is 10 microfarad. Now we have to use this U as U in H spice would be considered as micro, that is 10 to the power minus 6. If we have to use milli for that, we would use M, that is 10 to the power minus 3. So this was all about writing components, their nodes, and their values. So the things while writing all the components, we have to keep in mind that the first thing should be their names followed by the positive and the negative nodes between they are connected. And the third thing is their values. So this is the major part of the netlist of this RC low pass filter that is name of all the components, the nodes between they are connected and their values. So in the netlist there are few more things that we are going to see after uh, switching to the Linux terminal. So let us just type all these things and uh, some more things that we have to discuss upon in the Linux terminal. So just we are now switching to the terminal. So here I am on my Linux terminal with the netlist code of the RC low pass filter. So in this code, 
we have deeply discussed these three lines of code v1 r1 and c1 so these are the definitions of the component and their values and their connectivity so in this code we use this star we use this star uh, to define a statement in hspice so wherever we want to uh, comment any line or we want to use a comment statement we would start with that line with a star so this line is also a comment and this one is also a comment one thing also that we have to uh, notice is that uh, we have to know that uh, no matter if we write star or not the first line would always be considered as a comment for example if i just remove this star if uh, i have to just if i remove now i have removed the star still this line would considered as to be a comment so let me just put it back yes so uh, this dot title is used to give a title to the simulation dot option statement is used to manipulate the default settings of the spice and dot tran is used to describe transient analysis uh, in the spice simulation dot print is the statement to print voltages and current at different nodes and dot end is the statement to specify that our program is at the end so our code have been completed and this is the end of the code so in this way we can write the netlist of the rc lopas filter thank you so much